Baseball Tonight is presented by Chase. Out of the box on baseball tonight. Some history on Saturday or near history. First, Ken Griffey Jr., career home run number 599 for the Reds against the Braves. That was in the first inning. I think he got it later. Would One of the sweetest left-handed swings in baseball. Find out in the next hour. All-time ejection leader Bobby Cox was heard from in that same game. Adrian Johnson rings up Cox. So if you had Adrian Johnson in the umpire ejection fantasy league, you were a winner. You're always a winner in your umpire ejection fantasy leagues when Bobby Cox is involved. I don't need it. <laughs> way out. I have too much talent. I mean, someone does. Look at this in Seattle. Kendra Drojima, the catcher for the Mariners, Still stealing home. home. Is that Eduardo? We'll see you Monday. <laughs> we'll see you Monday. <laughs> you never know what you're going to see on baseball tonight. Welcome to the broadcast with you for the next hour here on ESPN2. It's Steve Berthium of the Baseball Tonight Cavalcade of Stars, Chris Singleton, Fernando Vina, and Buster only along the way. Last time the Red Sox were in Baltimore, we saw Manny Ramirez make a catch, high five a fan in the stands, and then throw the ball back in the infield to double up a runner on first base. Manny had more history today in Baltimore with the nation returning to Camden Yards to face the Orioles. Baltimore was up 2-0 in the third. Garrett Olson on the mound. Dustin Pedroia went to where? Arizona State. Thank Sun you. Devil. His fourth. Boston within one. He went to Souvenir City. Boy can play. Eric Young, president. Next up, Big Poppy hits it. Wicked Fah. His 13th. Bats to back. Jacks ties it at two. That's number 279. As long as we're talking numbers. We will be in a minute. Bottom five. John Lester on the mound. His second start after the no-hitter against the Royals last Monday at the Nation. Brian Roberts busting up that 2-2 tie. His first homer right-handed. His fourth this year. That made it 3-2 Orioles. Manny Ramirez off with the Red Sox, up one in the seventh, looking for 500. Out to its right center field for Manny Ramirez. Deep, far, number 500 for Manny Ramirez. One of the greatest hitters the game has ever seen. Takes another step towards the hall. Sixth inning, the first pitch he saw from Chad Bradford into the right center seats at Oriole Park at Camden Yards, estimated 410 feet. The solo home run for Manny Ramirez gives the Red Sox the 5-3 lead and gives Manny 500 for his career. One more look, and he absolutely knows it. Great That's moment impressive. at Oriole Park. Impressive. You think about a power hitter, you think about pulling the ball all the time, this guy will take you out of the yard in every direction. 24th member now of the 500 home run club is Manny Ramirez. The home run is 10th of the year. This game's still in progress. The Red Sox lead 6-3. Top nine now with Hideki Okajima all on the mound. It is his 264th home run with the Red Sox. So of the 500, you forget, he hit nearly half those with Cleveland. Really set the stage in Cleveland with the Indians. And this guy doesn't just hit home runs, hits doubles, does it all out there. And it had been a struggle. Manny won for six in Friday's extra inning Red Sox win at Baltimore. He was hitting only 214 with one home run and 10 strikeouts in his previous 11 games. So the 500 home run thing had to sort of set him off course just a little bit. But he is back on with 5 500 for the career. Third player to get number 500 in a Red Sox uniform. Ted Williams did it against the Indians in 1960. And Jimmy Fox did it against the Philadelphia A's in 1940. Chris Singleton, when you think Manny Ramirez, what immediately comes to mind? Model of consistency. Manny Ramirez, a guy who really knows his swing. And I always remember going to Fenway and playing those guys. He was in that cage out there in center field. Not a real good place to get a lot of work in. But he was very consistent in his approach day in and day out. And what you always knew about Manny is that he was a very smart hitter. He would set pitchers up over the course of the ball game. He may let you strike him out, could take a called third strike. But when it was big later in the innings when they needed a go ahead run or a big hit, he got the pitch that he waited for. And it may have taken him three or four at bats. He's also stayed healthy. That is huge, a 312 career hitter. So Manny Ramirez, congratulations tonight. Fernando, what most impresses you about Manny Ramirez? You know what I think about longevity. I mean, this guy has been, you know, so good for so long, and we sometimes forget that half of his home runs were with the Cleveland Indians that I have to be on the I happen to be on the other side of him with the Brewers. But I mean, this guy constantly tinkering with his swing off the tee. Always coming at you with different angles and hits from all, all parts of the ballpark. If you would take the power away from Manny and you would look at him as a hitter, you'd say, wow, this guy can just flat out hit. And then his eye is second to none. I mean, this guy is very special. He works so hard. He has so much pride 
and to know that he's at the 500 mark now is just it's just it's special. I mean, this is very difficult to do, and you got to stay healthy for a long time and put up great numbers. So, Manny, I'm proud of you. Great job, buddy. 500 Home Run Club was a popular place last year, Buster. We saw guys like Frank Thomas and Jim Tomey, among others, join the 500 Home Run Club. Thomas and Tomey, we don't quite know if they're automatic Hall of Fame guys. Manny, we do. Why is that? Uh, there's no question about it. If you look at his career totals, if you think about it, he, he hit number 500, literally yards, from where Babe Ruth grew up. Now, history is always going to remember Babe Ruth a lot for the colorful stories about him, how he ate too many hot dogs, he hung his manager out of a train, and Manny, history also will remember with many colorful stories about his crazy cutoff plays and how he ducked into the Green Monster restroom. But at the core of both of these players are incredible hitters who put up amazing numbers. Besides Manny Ramirez, his 500 homers, 1,639 RBI, and he's only 36 years old. He's going to surpass 2,000 RBI. He might wind up with 600 homers. He will be remembered one of the great, as one of the greatest hitters of all time. And when I think about Manny, I think about the fun he has and, and, and the good times he has. When I, when I coach the kids that I work with all the time, I say, look at Manny Ramirez play the game. He has so much fun. He has so much love for the game. And that's when you do that, the game comes easy to you because of his, obviously, his talent. But he makes it such a fun atmosphere that it's just a great time. 24th member now of the 500 Home Run Club, Manny Ramirez is in. Much more on Manny in the next hour here on Baseball Tonight. In the meantime, we press on with Brandon Webb and the Arizona Diamondbacks. Uh, Brandon Webb had been cruising along, but 0-2 in his last two starts hosting the Washington Nationals tonight. Aaron Boone. All of Webb's pitches in the first inning were strikes. Boone right there. Think about this with Brandon Webb. Tonight, in the first 26 hitters he faced, only one saw a hitter's count of 2-0 or 3-1. He pounded the strike zone. Got Willie Harris there. Bottom two. Mark Reynolds gets this one, his 10th, and they've given Webb a 1-0 lead. He struggled for a lot of the month of May, but he's starting to get it back together here. I think a lot of the young hitters have struggled a little bit because of the scouting reports, but it's a cat and mouse game, and they're starting to get it back together again and find their weaknesses. There's that change up from Brandon Webb. Ryan Langerhans right back at you. Webb, you know, athletic. You know what makes him so tough is that you can never get in a good hitter's count because he comes at you with strikes early, and then you never know what might be coming after that. Justin Upton, still a 1-0 game, bottom seven. Mm. Wow. Yep, his eighth, 2 nothing Arizona. Well, you'd love to have him, him on your team. I'd take him. We'll discuss whether Justin Upton would be a number one overall pick uh, right now later in the show. Look Reynolds. how high this home run is by Mark Reynolds. Where is it? <laughs> the guy in the pink shirt had a beat on it the whole way. Second of the game, 11th of the year. That made it 3 0. Webb closes out the 4 0 game here, gets Willie Harris again. Arizona had lost a season high five in a row and nine of 11, but Webb does what he's supposed to do. He is the stopper. Now 10 and 2, they win 4 0. That was his third run at number 10, and he gets it. He gone. Brandon Webb won all of his first nine starts this season, had lost his last two, including Monday's loss in Atlanta when he was hit hard, gave up ten hits in four and a third. Here he goes all the way, goes the full nine, gets up only six and shuts out the Nationals. White Sox and Rays, Scott Kazmir, this guy has really had it going, 4-0, an ERA under one in his last four starts. Facing Brian Anderson, Joe Cruz nice. over there, and they get him. Open glove, timing play. He was off a little bit, didn't slide, you're gone. Fastball. He gone, gets Ooh, Paul Canerco. Fastball. And see, you got that good slider. That fastball starts up away. You're thinking it's going to break in. It stays up, you strike out. Goes Here's that man Cliff again. Floyd in the fourth, had the walk off Friday. Another one, a uh, home run here. How about off. that? Yard Vasquez, his fifth, 2 0. How about a 0 2 pitch, and you go deep? Vasquez is killing himself right there. DJ Upton. Right field line. Nick Swisher playing first base. Look at the range from Nick oh, Swisher sweet. and the way to adjust to that one. That's not easy because of the roof there at Tropicana Field. It can be very easy, like the Metrodome, to lose it. So that's excellent concentration. What makes you lose it? Is it the white? Because it's the white top. At night games, it's a little bit easier because the dark sky darkens it just a little bit. And he went hard, never gave up on it. That's why he gave himself a chance to catch that. Joe Creedy goes down there. Brian Anderson. How about Casimir? Seven innings of shutout ball, gave up three hits. His ER. Ray now 0.5 in his last five starts. Bust. Tampa Bay 2.81 home ERA. That's the best in all of baseball. Casimir today clearly his off-speed stuff really giving the White Sox a problem. He becomes the first pitcher in Rays history to win five games in one month. He has won each of his last five starts, has gone at least six innings each time, and hasn't allowed more than one earned run in any of those starts. The Rays have won seven of nine on this 10-game homestand so far. They look 
impressive and continue to impress atop the AL East. The Blue Jays and the Angels. John Lackey working effectively early on for LA of Anaheim. Top one, Marco Scudero. Howie Kendrick turns the 4-3, and Lackey's out of trouble in the first. Nice. Why give up the flip when you can take the bag yourself and turn it over? Second inning, Lackey dominating. Scott Rowland. Mm. Matt stares. Another breaking ball here. And then they'll go back door on Lyle Overbeck. How many pitchers throw different types of breaking balls like oh. that? Oh, look at Lackey. Just such a smooth delivery, great balance point. He's able to repeat his mechanics pitch after pitch. Got the side in the second, bottom two, first it's and second drop. Quinlan rolling, Ooh. can't get Quinlan, so they're loaded for Reggie Willits. Shannon Stewart. Well, it's chasing the first pitch there with the bases full and two out. And they get out of trouble. That was like a kickoff return for Stewart. He's about to take it 90 to the air. Catch it. 1 1, bottom four. Toronto has scored 22 runs in its last two games. A struggling to get some offense here, only two hits. Jays have won 14 of their last 18, playing very well lately. Do up on the program. You thought Jay Bruce's first week in the big leagues has been remarkable so far. Wait until you see what the Reds rookie did Saturday. This story continues to amaze. Things have gone so badly for the Mariners lately, they'll do whatever it takes to try and win, including having a catcher steal home. And more on Manny. He high-fived a fan in Baltimore earlier this month tonight at Camden Yards. He hit home run number 500. Baseball Tonight is presented by Chase. Make the most of your money. Chase what matters. Visit chase.com slash matters. And in part by Orbitz. Visit orbits.com today and say. Welcome back to Baseball Tonight. Presented by Chase. Earlier tonight, Manny Ramirez hit career home run number 500 in Baltimore. Manny, over the course of his career, 20 grand slams that is second all time behind the Iron Horse. Two career three homer games, 98 and 99, both with the Cleveland Indians, where, by the way, he hit nearly half his 500 homers. 10 career against Jamie Moyer. That's the most against any pitcher, and Moyer currently with the Phillies, so Manny probably won't face him for a while. Rivalry. 55 against the Yankees. He is a Yankee killer, but uh, then again, so is anybody who had ever had a base hit against the Yankees, if you listen to the Yankee Nation. Major League Baseball on ESPN continues Monday night. Derek Jeter and the Yankees wrap up the four-game shortstop number two. Rank up the four-game series against Justin Munoz and the Twins. Monday night baseball, ESPN 7 Eastern, the whole thing. Those in Minnesota can see this game on ESPN, then stick around afterward for this program, Baseball Tonight. Zing. At 10 Eastern. You know, anybody that ever had a base hit against the Yankees, they always say, oh, this guy's a Yankee killer. Okay. What a good feeling, too, to get a hit in Yankee State. Throwing it out there. Joe Girardi's Yankees. Makes your hair stand up. Third inning, Yanks down 2 nothing. Here is Derek Jeter against Booth Bonzer. Uh, Nick Punto. You look at that, Nick Punto took his head off the ball just that little second that enabled that ball to fly out of there. A little rusty. He's been uh, out since May 8th with a strained left hammy. Abreu comes up next. Base knock. Jeter to third. Abreu to second with a double after Delman Young bobbles it. Same Ooh, thing. Bonds are not too happy. It's a one-run game. Next up, A-Rod, another guy who joined the 500 home run club last year. Just over Punto. Jeter scores. Abreu scores. Yankees up 3-2. A-Rod, 1,524 RBI. Seventh inning. Michael Kedire, twins down 6-5, facing Anwar Ramirez. And job as a starter. Okay, that's fine. But so far, seventh inning, eighth inning, it's been an adventure. He gone. One hole to be filled now for the Yankees. And what is Michael Kedire? What is he? A Yankee killer. You were just telling me. He had me. a base hit. That makes him a Yankee killer. The goal. We saw Farnsworth serve up a home run in the eighth inning last night. Uh, Ramirez in the seventh inning here today. I mean, I'm just laying it out. I'm calling it how you see it. 6-6 six, six in the eighth. Yankees are doing very well lately. They've won 7 of 9, coming in right at 500 at 27 yeah. and 27. Yeah, if they win this game, they'd be over 500 for the first time since May 4th, but they're hanging on the edge. Manny had his 500th home run against the Orioles tonight. Next at bat after number 500. Can he get 501? Not so much. They'll go bottom nine in Baltimore. The nation holding a three-run lead against the Red Sox. Tigers and Mariners. Justin Verlander came into Saturday never having lost to Seattle. They're loaded in the first. Adrian Beltre. 
Shallow center. Here comes Curtis Granderson. Do it. Wow. Do it. Sat on this set last year, did a great job, and he's an even better baseball player. Mm. Kendry Georgia Two runs come in, 2 nothing Seattle. They have the early lead. You know what's unbelievable about Justin Verlander? His strikeout ratio has gone from eight and a quarter to five and a quarter this year. The, what's going on? Top three, Pudge. Oh. Wow, watch out. King Felix knocks it down and gets the out. One of the few outs early on that were actually not strikeouts. He struck out six of the first nine batters he faced. He went. Miguel Cairo trying to squeeze. He misses the bunt. Kenji Jojima should be dead at the plate. Instead, he gets a steal of home. Tough pitch to try to do it on, and it <laughs> works out anyway. Granderson, third baseline, Beltre. Good oh, out, great throw. Cairo, yes, he had a foot on the bag. Oh. Off balance. Although Jim Leland says, no, the foot came off. Hold on, Cairo appears to have the ball in his glove and does have his toe just touching the first base bag before Granderson comes across. If you had Dan Iasonia in your umpire ejection fantasy, night. you're a winner. Big night. Miguel Cairo, great footwork over there. He's a tremendous super sub. Mariners have won three of four, Bus Filling in for Richie Sexton. Felix Hernandez, first game this year with no walks. Felix Hernandez gets his first win since April 16th, which was also the last time Seattle scored more than four runs for him. Tigers shut out for the ninth time this season. They get only two hits. They've been shut out nine times. That's the most in the majors, and it triples the number of times Detroit was shut out all of last season. Wow, that's shocking to me. Polanco striking out three times, 0 for 3. This guy rarely strikes out. Mariners needed that one. Maybe they can get it turned around. Indians and Royals, speaking of trying to get it turned around, KC trying to snap a 12-game losing streak with Kyle Davies on the mound. Victor Martinez up in the third. Mark Resolanic. Wait. Ooh. Did he get the bag? Never got the bag. It. I don't know. I got Off the bag. the bag. He might have sold it well enough to get it. Look oh. at there. It's a neighborhood play, but you're not in a neighborhood. <laughs> That's one of your instinctive plays. You get it barehanded and you turn it over. Sin Su Chu grounds to second. Throw to first for the out. Royals are out of the inning. Up 2 1 in the fifth. David De Jesus against CC Sabathia. Double FL line. John Buck comes in. De Jesus into second with a double. It's 3 1. Excellent piece of hitting right there. De Jesus. Lefty on lefty. Stayed inside it. Went the other way. In the eighth, it's 4 1. Casey Blake. Joe Seth right. Tony Pena. Oh, uh, yeah. Blake has a double. <laughs> sort of. That ball was in the air for a long time. Joaquin Soria, they needed two innings out of him. Nunez is on the DL, but it's over. Our long national royal nightmare is over. We got a W. The 12 game losing streak is history. That home run by De Jesus, by the way, that was his first against the lefty since April of 2007. Royals had scored only 32 runs during their 12 game losing streak. They get four here, and it's enough. By the way, last two major league teams to lose 13 in a row the Royals and the Pirates, both in 2006. Music's on in the clubhouse tonight in Kansas City. It's only one win, though. The Don't food is digesting a little better. Much. <laughs> it tastes better, and oh, it goes down better. Up next, the what Phils and the Fish fight for the NL East, and it's the last day of the month, so we present the finest defensive plays from the last 31 days. The best web gems from the month of May are on the way. Okay. ESPN Sunday night, Russell hey, Martin and the Dodgers up. visit Jose Reyes in the New York Mets. Sunday night baseball presented by Taco Bell on ESPN 8 Eastern Time. Coverage begins with this program, Baseball Tonight, driven by Chevy at 7 Eastern. Speaking of the Dodgers and the Mets, Joe Torre. This was the anniversary of his managerial debut, May 31st, 1977. Player manager with the Mets. Top one, Mike Pelfrey. Matt Kemp, base knock. Kemp wants two. Andy Chavez, the throw, dropped by Reyes at second, and that allows Juan Pierre to come in and score. one nothing L.A. Well, that's a great play by Chavez getting there, bare hands it, and throws a nice long hop to Reyes. He's got to handle that ball. Yeah, he looked at the runner before he caught the ball. He's got to catch that first, then look at him. Chad Billingsley gets out of trouble there in the seventh. He was terrific. Four hits in seven. Uh. Bottom eight, Beltron with a man on off Broxton, who is hammered. This ties it up 2-2. Two -two. Big, huge clutch hit by Carlos Beltron. You look at that slider, it sunk right down into the barrel of the bat, and he hammered it. Later in the inning, they've been all clutch lately for Fernando Tatis. This is the go-ahead and now winning run. Fourth blown lead of the year for Jonathan Broxton. And great game again for Tatis. He's added some fire to this ball club. Look how excited they are in that dugout. Mets have won four or five.
Give a lot of credit to Mike Pelfrey. He basically was pitching for his job today. Had one of his best outings of the year. L.A. one for seven with runners in scoring position against him. Pelfrey retired the final 12 he faced. He had lost his last six straight starts, and there was talk maybe he'd go to the bullpen. Maybe this solidifies his rotation spot. Dodgers, who came into Shea after getting swept at Wrigley Field, now one in five on the seven-game road trip. They get Johan Santana in that series finale Sunday night on ESPN. The Marlins and the Phillies, the fish and the fills, Cole Hamels and the whole thing. Top four, Florida down 2 nothing. Wes Helms. Mm. Doubles to left, it scores two, and Wes Helms is tied it at two. Must have just missed the barrel because that pitch was up, and it looked like he got a full swing on it, and the ball flies in that ballpark. More against Hamels in that inning. Luis Gonzalez, two-run jack. The veteran present goes down and gets it, and Number hammers it. 350 for his career. Sweet swing. Marlins up 5-2 in the sixth. Cody Ross. The man, look at this, another one. Cody, when he hits him, he really hits him. He's Nine strong. of Ross's last ten hits, Fernando, have been home runs. You're exactly <laughs> right. Strong, compact kid. He really Chase has a Utley lot of power. Trying to bring him back in the eighth. Fill thine <laughs> horn with oil. How about that? I wish we could replay that to show you, you show you how much he pulled his hands inside of that ball. That's crazy. Ryan Incredible Howard. hitter. Oh, ring him up on the changeup. Boy, most guys take a swing like Utley did. That ball's like a fister over second. Yeah, that's, that's how well he has his hands trained to get inside the ball, and he never gets jammed. He trusts them beautiful hands he has. Marlins retake the lead in the NL East. The Phillies had won five straight and six in a row with Cole Hamels on the mound. Both those streaks end here, Buster. Shane Victorino, 12-game hitting streak. Saturday, May 31st, last day of the month, so now it's time to look back at the best defensive plays from the last 31 days. Here now, the best web gems from the month of May. Do off Ken Griffey Jr.'s pursuit of history. Can he get to 600? He's one step closer. We'll show you that. And revisionist history, the 2005 draft, maybe one of the best ever. What if we could redraft? Based on what we now know about the draftees, our redraft is on the clock. Back on baseball tonight, updating the Blue Jays and the Angels, 1-1 in the seventh. Rod Barajas off John Lackey breaks up the 1 1 tie. It's now 2 2. Tori Hunter is homeward for the Angels. Fourth of the season for Barajas. 2 2, bottom seven in Anaheim. Astros and Brewers. Look, it's Uke. <laughs> he must be in the front row. <laughs> I don't know. If, did Harry Doyle sleep through the game? Bottom five, Ryan Braun, Buster Olney's number one pick. Her oh, yeah. Comes around. Next up, Prince. Oh, man. Is a 3 1. Look at that follow right through. There. Look at that release and that follow through. That's nothing but power. Ben Sheets pitched a terrific ball game, had it working. Top six, Miguel Tejada. Oh, just See off ya. the table. He's in the outside part of the plate. Sheets looking for the complete game. He's got two outs in the ninth of 4 1, but big walks Puma. the big Puma. Oh, that broke up a streak of 30. Uh, 31 consecutive innings without he a walk. He wanted it too, but at 122 pitches, he's got to come out, says Ned Yost. So Solomon Torres comes in, gets El Caballo, fifth save for Torres. Brewers win 4 1. The Astros have lost four in a row. Ben Sheets now 6 and 1. Let's go, Yard. Big day for home runs. Touch them all. Alfonso Soriano has got 12 this season, 10 coming in the month of May. Got to give a lot of credit to Lou Pinella, who was very patient with him, stuck with him, didn't move him out of the leadoff spot, just kept him in the game late in games. The Prince homers in consecutive games for the first time all year. He homered yesterday for the Brew Crew. It's starting to get hot around the major leagues. Josh Hamilton's been hot all year long. Triple crown candidate ties Carlos Quentin for the AL lead with 14. He just keeps going and going and going. Wow. Pedroia and Poppy back to back oh, yeah. for the nation in Baltimore. Dustin's so strong he went down and got that and back legged it out of the ballpark. Now the most noteworthy home runs, and there were three on Saturday, at least Saturday oh. so far. The first coming in Cincinnati, Ken Griffey Jr. Hits number 599. <laughs> Griffey now one away from 600. I'm sure he'll be glad to get to 600, get it behind him, and everybody else making the fanfare. He can. That's how the game on. started in the first. Here's how it ended. Jay Bruce wins it. His first big league home run is a walk-off for the Reds. An easy game for Jay Bruce. And we just spoke to him live on Baseball Tonight. Manny Ramirez becomes the 24th member of the 500 home run club. The homers in Baltimore. Manny, fourth highest career batting average of the 
24 members of the 500 Home Run Club. Another reason why he is an automatic first ballot Hall of Famer, and maybe some of the more recent members of this club are not busted. And of course, the top two guys on that list are left-handed hitters. Jimmy Fox, the only other right-handed hitter on that list. Let's get another update from Anaheim, where it's getting awfully interesting. It's 2-2 here. It was 2-1. This is how it got to be 2-2. Howie Kendrick. Richie Willits comes in high off the wall, and that's how it got to 2-2 after the Barajas home run had made it 2-1 Blue Jays. Now 2-2, and the Angels still batting bottom seven. Do up here on the program. What? Oh, what? It's what the defense. It's just running, jumping, diving, and the, and the getting throwing dirty. of the leather and the jumping, and it's what with the web jam. Dropping some gold on him. The whole thing. Baseball Tonight is presented by Chase. Make the most of your money. Chase what matters. Visit chase.com slash matters. And in part by Volkswagen. Meet Tiguan. Volkswagen's first compact SUV is now in America. Top five defensive plays from Saturday so far. It's the Web Gems, number five. Boy, this guy has been a tremendous acquisition on the north side. Reed Johnson stole him from the Toronto Blue Jays. This guy can Did. play. He's a gamer. Look at Blue that. has sparked the team. They've won six in a row. Put him in for defense, he makes a play. You put him in for offense, he gets on base. Some fish sticks. Dan Ugla, shallow right off Ryan Howard. Look at that. Go yeah. get it and the throw. He has mastered the throw from his knees. <laughs> Playing the shift there. It's probably the first time a web gem has ever occurred in that spot on the field. Good point. Nice pick by Wes Helms, too. Nick Swisher. He, he almost raises his arms here. He's like, I don't know where this is right there. And then he suddenly finds it. You can yeah. lose it at the last moment there in Tropicana Field, but great concentration picks it up. He doesn't panic, and he's athletic enough to make that catch. Now, nice you need job. to watch this closely. Here's the Diamondbacks' Mark Reynolds. Retreats from third base, makes the diving over the shoulder catch against the Nationals. And we're going to give you one replay here. And watch Brandon Webb watch this play. And you can see Brandon Webb saying, wow, that's a web gem. That's a web gem. <laughs> <laughs> and Rocky Webby. Ian Stewart has the number one so far. Of course, that's web gem with two. Oh, in that do case. it. Wow. Here's Ian Stewart, number one, gets the ride at first. Look at that, how he spit. Spinned across his body to get the power to throw that across the diamond. Sweet. Web Jams is brought to you by Orbitz. Visit Orbitz.com today and save. An update from Minnesota, the Yankees and Twins. The Yankees set and up for getting it done into the 11th. Ollendorf gets Gomez to chase second and third, 6-6. Six, six. They've now gone top 11. Chris Singleton, most important thing you saw so far on Saturday. Well, I think Scott Kazmir's performance tonight against the Chicago White Sox was huge. The White Sox took the first game of the series. Good pitching last night by James Shields. And then Kazmir, who was on the DL to start the season, he's been lights out. That elbow, he's getting the slider back, and he pitched very well. Great month of May for Fernando. How can I not go with my boy Manny Ramirez? I mean, <laughs> what he did tonight, get to get to part of the 500 club, going the other way. He's just such a great hitter. I mean, the guy's outstanding. I'm right there with you. I mean, Manny Ramirez getting, getting the 500th homer, and he's going to be remembered as one of the greatest hitters of all time. Another baseball tonight comes your way this time, 1 a.m. Eastern time over on ESPN. Sports Center begins right now on ESPN2. Enjoy. What is that?